Hello, Strategy Gaming fans, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we're finding, a learning, turning the great strategy games, and today we jump back into the Pacific War. We're going back and forth between the fronts, but as always on Sundays, we will be resolving a turn today in War in the Pacific AE. We hover over the blue azure waters of Hawaii. Blue and azure. I, I guess that was a double there. Uh, they, you know, they're both colors. Uh, let's call them azure. Sure. Uh, let's go down and drill into Hawaii and see what is happening. Now, last time we had started to set up some of these uh, task forces out of Hawaii, trying to figure out the best way to send all of these ships. We still have 39 ships in port. Now, a lot of these are tenders that we'll be using later for invasion forces and whatnot, but some of them actually do have some use at this very moment, and so we need to continue to set those up. Uh, we will also try to get down to Pago Pago, Christmas Island, Palmyra, Suva, maybe over to Numa, Numa, Nomaya. Uh, we'll try to get down into those areas as well, maybe even look at Tahiti, but uh, that's, as you know, I am always very hopeful at the start of the episode, and I look up, it's 45 minutes in, and we've set up uh, just the task forces in Pearl Harbor. So we'll see how far we can get. Now then, uh, some house cleaning items just in regards to Strategy Gaming Dojo. Again, a big thank you to all of you who have joined the channel recently. It's uh, very humbling. Uh, I really appreciate the signups. Uh, I did want to say a couple of things, and that is... Uh, I've really focused on YouTube up until this point in the channel. Uh, you know, the, that uh, setup just kind of lends itself to the kind of games we play. And YouTube, I think, uh, for people that enjoy this channel, maybe are on YouTube more than they are on Twitch. Twitch is not really known for in-depth strategy games. It's more, you know, Call of Duty or, or, you know, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, something like that. It's more shooters or, or games like that. I would like to start building out the Twitch. And to the extent you have a Twitch account, or even if you don't, you just never know with these tech companies now how they're going to change things, what's going to happen. Uh, and so I like to be on two different platforms. And uh, to the extent that you haven't signed up on Twitch, maybe do that because who knows what's going to happen with YouTube. They may change a terms of, term of use or do something different and we would have to switch over to Twitch. So anyway, if you would go over and sign up on Twitch, I'd like to build that channel up as well. Uh, another thing is I have set up a Discord channel uh, by popular acclaim or, or I guess request would be the word to use. By popular request, I've set up a Discord now, and underneath this video, I will be giving you an invite link to that Discord. You can also go to Discord and look for the server. It's Strategy Gaming Dojo, all one word. Uh, go over there. I've set up channels in the Discord for War in the East 2 and War in the Pacific AE. And so, you know, the channel's grown enough that I'm getting uh, a lot of... Uh, what's the best way to put it? a lot of comments underneath the YouTube videos. And it's very hard to keep up with all of those comments uh, underneath the videos because they're all spread out. You know, I, I will get a comment for war in the Pacific, a let's play back on episode 10, you know? And so when I wake up in the morning, I've got, you know, 70 or 80 comments all spread out and it's very hard to manage those. I try to respond to everyone that I can, especially if you have a question that's game related and whatnot, I try to get to those, but I just think it'd be a lot easier to do that at Discord where it's all kind of one place on one channel and I can just go there and answer your questions. So go over there and, uh, and join our little band of merry men on Discord and I will try to get to any questions and comments, things like that over there. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. Uh, let's play a damn game. That's a lot more fun than that other stuff. Uh, hello, Jason. How are you? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Hello, Stanley. Stanley, I set up a Discord channel for you. You can put all of your questions uh, there, and that way we're not jumping around videos. Uh, I think that'll be easier. 
<laughs> P. Warner. It was not whining. Let's not. It was not that. It's good to have a Discord channel, right? That'll be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, so I will. Uh, well, you can go look at Discord. It's Strategy Gaming Dojo, all one word. I'll also put a an invite underneath uh, this video, and you can go find, uh, or you can click that link and, and go over to Discord, and we can have some chats over there about the inner workings of the Pacific War. And, uh, you know, if I'm not around, there's a lot of people with a lot of knowledge of these games or the war in general. I'm sure if we build up a community over there, uh, questions will get answered very quickly. Yes, yes, Stanley. That was, and that was not whining. That was a very nice request by Stanley, and I think it was an excellent idea. So don't let P. Warner give you crap. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's go look at Pearl Harbor. Let's see what's happening there. Uh, we've already looked through the planes. Uh, generally, they're training. We do have some ASW. We do have some cap up, but generally they're training. We've looked at all of the task forces that are already set up, um, but let's go back and look at... Oh, by the way, I'm streaming in 1080p here for Pacific. We'll see. Um, let's go look at what's actually sitting here in port that we could possibly use uh, here. And... You know, the AGs, we're not going to use those. Those are tenders that will go out with our assault forces when we start landing on islands. You know, at this point, they don't have a lot of utility this early in the war. Uh, we've got our two ACMs. That's fine. We've got another AG here, the Ares. Maybe we should sort this by ship type. Uh, we've got, okay, so let's start back at the top. We've got the cruiser Indianapolis, the light cruiser Honolulu. They're hanging out. You know, when the Yorktown gets out here, maybe we'll put them with the Yorktown or or something like that. Uh, we've got our patrol craft. Uh, there's really no reason we shouldn't have our patrol craft uh, put in a task force. They do have some anti-sub. They don't have, well, actually, this PC, the Taney, has a pretty good endurance. So we could really put that with one of these task forces down here that do not have any anti-sub with them. So we'll go look at that. We have the ADs, uh, the destroyer tenders. They're probably best just left here for now. They don't have any anti-sub themselves. I mean, they are tenders, so they're going to be rearming destroyers to the point we don't, or to the extent we don't have a big port around to rearm them. So we'll just kind of leave that there for now. We have another uh, tender. This one's an aircraft tender, and so this probably could go down to one of the small islands, maybe. Suva, maybe Pago Pago, and help with that. So why don't we go ahead and do a support task force, and we will start to fill that up with certain things. Um, where did that go? Oh, goodness. All right. Um, is it the AV we want? Let's go back. Let's go back. Done. Done. Get out of there. Uh, yes, it is, right? It's the AV right. I just wanted to make sure I had that right. So the AV right, and then we have aircraft tender destroyers. Now, do they have, they do have anti-sub. Oh, okay. Well, let's send each one of these to one of those small islands out there, Pago, Suva, maybe even Nomaya. Uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, and then we also have the aircraft tender patrol. Um, a lot of aircraft tenders here. Now, these have better they do have a little anti-sub as well. They also have a better endurance. Um, interesting. Okay, uh, we're going to set up some support task forces here. And there we go. Done. Uh, we'll do the AVDs or the AV. Let's do the AV and an AVD. How about that? Uh, and we'll take this. And we'll say support Pago. All right, that works. And we will send this down to, if I can get there, there's Palmyra, there's Christmas. <clears throat> Let's get over to Pago Pago, which is right there. Uh, let's see what kind of waypoints. I want it to go down and around Christmas. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, this replenished task force at sea, uh, 
Stanley, you had asked about that. I think that that's when two task forces are in the same hex and you can click on that. Now you could also set that refueling to happen if there's an AO out there, an oiler. Uh, but I think your question related to if they're all in the same task force, task forces will share their fuel uh, to get to their destination. So to the extent that McFarland can't get there, the right will give it fuel. I, I think that was your question uh, if I remember correctly. Um, just looking at, uh, just looking at some comments here. Hey, Florian, how's it going? I'm going to play War in the East 2 uh, immediately after this stream. So uh, we'll get into that. But yeah, I've been thinking about different ways you could change those error directives to get a lot better results. Uh, so we'll see how much longer I keep using the AI for my air war. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be long, but we'll see. Um, all right, let's set up waypoints. Let's set a waypoint one down here around Christmas, and then it should go just straight around then to Pago Pago. So that's one of them. And let's go get another or two. Uh these AVPs and AVDs, I guess I'll put them together, why not? And then we have the destroyer tender that maybe I should send with it too. Uh, let's send a destroyer tender out to Pago as well. Um, done, okay. So now we'll start building up what's happening out at Pago. Let's do another one of these support and I'll send this one to Suva. And so we'll do support done ad avd avp you're like what's he saying uh there we go and we'll send these guys out to oh i should go back and change that support to its home port being pago pago uh so there's pago let's bring this one to suva and we'll set its home port at suva as you can see, it really wants to move straight across the Pacific there. I don't think that's a very good idea. So we'll bring this one to Suva as well. And then we'll set up a waypoint. Now I have sent some, some support ships down here previously. Uh, I don't believe they've arrived. So we'll set that as the waypoint. Now let's go back to that Pago one very quickly. If I can find it. Yeah, that, okay, that all looks good. And let's go to the Pago Pago. Oh, that's mine layers. Hold on, where's my support task force? Gosh, we built so many task forces here. Uh, it's not that one. It's got a very distinctive look to it. Oh, it's this one. No, this is the Suva one. Okay, so we're gonna name this support Suva. All right, done. And then... There it is, there it is. Okay, support Pago, but let's set its home base to Pago. Gosh, this looks so much better on my screen. You know, one thing I did is change the scaling because in War in the East 2, uh, I realized that the comp my computer itself was scaled to 125%. Uh, that's just how it shipped. And I guess I had just never, you know, I don't know, you start up the computer the first time after you buy it and you're like, okay, well, this is what it looks like. And I hadn't realized that the scaling was at 125%. Uh, and it makes this game look so much sharper to go down to 100%. Um, yeah, <laughs> P. Warner always, always puts a fine point on it. It, it is a micromanager's wet dream. <laughs> it's, so if you like uh, logistics and you like moving uh, fuel from port to port and thinking about those kind of things, there is no game better. And I mean any of the simulation games that were, you know, a, a tycoon, railroad tycoon or something like that. This game blows that out of the water when it comes to logistics. So if you like that kind of, it's also just a great game. It's also a WeGo game. And so it all resolves at the same time. You put in your orders, the Japanese put in their orders, and then it all kind of happens. And uh, I really like games like that. I, I just think they're so much more realistic. Uh, but this, you know, in my mind, is the best game ever made. Uh, and it's certainly the largest, most detailed, complex game ever made. I don't think there's any debate about that. 
Uh, we have all of the rest of these really are auxiliary ships. We've got transport ships here. We've got our mine tenders there. We do have these two. Oh, I was wrong. We do have these two AKs. Let's load them up and do something with them. What do you say? Um, and we'll send one of these PCs, the Taney. We'll send the Taney with it. Uh, so let's do cargo. And there's the Taney. We'll put that in there. And then where's our two AKs? We've got the caster and the Alcaba. Okay. Excellent. Uh, we'll and these have big cargoes too so you know they've got 6200 they've got really good speed i may send this all the way to australia i mean this would be the kind of thing you could send to australia uh for the time being though i'm gonna send it to suva i don't think we have a lot or enough let's put it that way um oh wow it's telling us we can't dock here because of the port size it's probably because we've got our aircraft okay so i'm going to exit out of that we'll come back to it let's get one of the aircraft carriers here and oh it's not that one that one's not docked this one's not docked either what in the hell yeah we're up to 101,000 tons docked here okay well we'll dock that next time uh because all of these things really should be docked so oh this this can undock so let's undock that um no god what's taken up it's all of these tankers look at that this is you know 68,000 tons holy holy mackerel um okay we're gonna have to wait for some of these tankers to clear to to dock other things uh righty we also need to make sure we split some of these up. Do not let me forget to do that. Now, next week, I'm planning on doing China again, going back to China, checking out what the situation on the ground is. You know, of course, we've got limited time, so I can't, you know, focus on a part of the map every time. I personally go and check parts of the map, but I do that offline, and then we focus in these videos on certain portions of the map. Uh, but next week I'm going to focus on China because we haven't been back there in a few turns. And that's, you know, one of the hot zones as, uh, as of right now. Um, <laughs> uh, nice historical reference, P. Warner. Yes, uh, Taney. Uh, wasn't Taney. Well, I should know this, right? Uh, I went to law school. I should probably know. Taney was the, the guy that did the Dred Scott decision. I do you believe 1854 look at that it's a steel trap up here i'm pretty sure that's right um yeah that's right stanley setting up the first once you get first through the first couple of turns and there is a spreadsheet so if you want to get in the game spiral um uh, go back to my early uh let's play videos the first 20 of them i believe are us just setting up the board uh and we go through every single country and region and set up all of the forces there. But we follow a spreadsheet that you can find on the Matrix Forum uh, that I link to in those videos uh, or underneath those videos. And it'll kind of give you a real, it points you in the right direction. Let's put it this way. I mean, uh, it was by a gentleman named Cole. Uh, and when I say points you in the right direction, it tells you exactly what to do with every unit if you want to follow it directly. And so it's very, very helpful when you're first starting out. It'll also help you learn the game because it gives you an idea of how you use certain things and what their best purpose is. He's very, I mean, he obviously spent I mean, who knows how many hours putting that thing together. Everything is well thought out. All right, let's look at Palmyra very quickly. We've got this patrol plane that's flying a nice, uh, you know, little arc out here, out to the west, just slightly to the north. We've got no supply or fuel here. Um, I feel like I've let pa the, the people of Palmyra down. Now, we've got this coming through with 3rd Marine. Oh, I really don't like these waypoints. I seem to be way too far north here. Oh, we're just going to Canton. 
that's what that's why with this task force okay that's fine now do i have something on loading here or this nope that's just an am out here doing asw which we see drawn on the map there of course we do have some marines out here uh palmyra defense battalion okay uh they've got a 10 but they've got a big gun it looks like uh, we do have some engineers out of here or in here i should say we need more cargo coming down to palmyra do any of these stop at palmyra any of them that one's going to christmas this is an ao that i'm going to park off of christmas to refuel things to the extent we need it we have other things these are going around the bend and i don't mean they're going crazy um yeah, I don't really have anything going down here. I I should. I should. That's going to Pago. It's a tanker. Okay. This is a tanker that can't get where it's going. It's going all the way to Brisbane, but we are going to reload this um, at Brisbane. So we can make it... Oh, I can't even make it one way. I don't believe that. Uh, I think it's showing all red because of this destroyer, but they'll share f fuel. Um, do I have anything loading up at Pearl to go to Palmyra? I just feel like I'm, I, need a, I need a continuous supply that's going out to Palmyra. And maybe I pick one of these ships, like the Crown City. Okay, let's get that out of here. Where's the Crown City? There it is. This is, a, this is a decent ship to go out to Palmyra. Done. Okay, so it's out of that. Now then, we'll go back. We'll form a new task force with the Crown City. There it is. It's an XAK. Okay. Done. Now then, we'll set this to go out to Palmyra. And take some cargo out here uh, or just some supply it'll move to palmyra it will be a cs palmyra we'll just have this one go back and forth what is this like a four point ship that's eh, a six point ship uh i probably would like something a little less but that's all right for now we'll have this doing cs palmyra we'll change it to cargo palmyra it's already loaded up so it's got supply, 3,200 in supply. It's ready to go. Return cargo none. We'll have it do, do not refuel out there. Okay, that gets us a little something going to Palmyra. So we've got some supply out there. Now what's happening at Christmas? We've got no supply, no fuel out here as well. We've got two engineering battalions. I think they're battalions. No, they're just an engineering unit, or that one is. So is that one. Okay. Uh, we need some cargo coming out here, too. We need to get some supply out here. So I would like to try to run a continuous supply down there. Do I have... I don't think I have anything that can really carry... Well, that's not true. I mean, we've got these tenders, but that's not really what we're looking for. Uh, tankers? No. I'll try to split off a little cargo ship if I can here. I'll try to find one. Okay, here's some, but these are bigger cargo ships than I'm thinking about. Uh, we're not going to send an aircraft carrier out there. Here is the Hugh Merchant. Okay, we had just set this up. This actually is ready to go. We're loading supplies onto the Hugh Merchant, and it's going with these support ships to Christmas. Okay, so we do already have something set up to go down there at least. The S.O. Durban, we've kind of talked about that. Um, <clears throat> two more tankers. These two big AKs we just set up, and the Crown City. Okay, uh, well, that is what it is. As more smaller cargo ships come in here, we'll have them do continuous supply out of Pearl down to Palmyra and to Christmas Island. But now we have cargo, <clears throat> excuse me, going to both. Let's look at Fanning. It's just got this French group out here. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. These are Kiwis. Huh. Okay. 
I, I guess Fanning Island is a Kiwi hold I, or New Zealand holding. I didn't know that. For some reason, this uh, I guess the French are of much lighter blue. Uh, <clears throat> is that right? Does uh, New Zealand control Fanning Island all the way out here? Cool. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe it is a U.S. holding and there just so happens to be a New Zealand unit up here when the war started. I don't know. Um, we have three ships in port here at Christmas Island. Now, what are we doing with these? These are, uh, this is a mine layer. Does it have mines? It does. It has 40 mines, as a matter of fact. So let's set up a mine laying unit or task force, I should say. All right. Is it the D? It's the DM, right? Yeah, Gamble. Let's make sure that's right. I think it was the one with the mines. Yeah, it's got this these Mark Six mines. Okay, so now we've got that set up. We'll say Mine Lay Christmas. That sounds devilish to Mine Lay Christmas. Um, right. Okay, Lay Mines. That's easy enough. Uh, let's see what we can do with these other two. Minesweeper Destroyer. This has a two anti-sub, so let's do it. Get it doing some anti-sub work. It can also be looking for mines while it's doing that. Done. Done. There we go. ASW Christmas. All right. Let's have it do a little. Patrol zone. What's his endurance? I didn't really look. I'll just have him come out here by fanning. Down here to Jarvis. And then back. Whoa. Whoa! And then boundary three, we'll just have... I don't know. This way he crosses both hexes, so... He'll just go boop, 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 boop. There we go. All right. Uh, back. Let's uh, set his max react at two. That looks good to me. <laughs> yeah. That is worse than coal in your stocking, P. Warner. Uh, <laughs> you open up your stocking and a mine goes off. Uh, you're like, well, how did a Mark VI mine get in my stocking? Uh, Stanley says Fanning Island may have been British. That's a good point, Stanley. As usual, you make a very cogent point, Stanley. That could have been British, and they had some Kiwis up there, right? Uh, all part of that Commonwealth. Uh, how do you guys like the uh, look of the stream today? I think it looks better. I like the 1080p, especially for a game like this. And I think I've finally done it. Uh... A Z O P E Opaz. Do you read YouTube chat or only the Twitch one? I try to read. Well, I pick multi stream, so I do get all of the chat from both YouTube and Twitch all in one kind of display. I use OBS Streamlabs, and it allows you to do that uh, where you can see all of the chat. Uh, I did say earlier in the episode, if you weren't around, I did set up a Discord uh, server. And then I'm going to have different channels underneath there. Uh, Warn these two, Warn the Pacific AE, you know, other games that we end up playing. Uh, I will have that there. So if you have any questions, that might, you know, either here on the live chat or in that Discord channel might be the best because uh, it's hard to keep up with uh, the YouTube comments because they're strung out across, you know, now I think I've got like four 400 videos up. Um did I read your previous reply? Uh, well, let me see. Uh, yeah, I would like to see that game too. Uh, and you say you don't have the patience to play this type of game. Well, yeah, it is, you know, it is a personal flavor for sure. Uh, you got to... You got to enjoy this kind of thing. Luckily, I do, but I certainly understand if you do not. Uh, we've got a minesweeper here. Let's set it up to do some minesweeping. So we'll form a new task force and we'll go here for minesweeping. Um, yeah, the AM. Done. And then we'll set this up 
as a, a little bit, it'll have a little patrol zone. So mine, sweep Christmas. Hey, we're making it farther than I thought. Uh, we didn't have as much to do at Hawaii or at Pearl Harbor as, as I thought we did uh, this time around. So we may actually, eh, it's 10, you know, it's 1031 my time. We're 31 minutes in. I think we can actually maybe get all the way to Suva. I really want to go look at Suva. All right, so we're going to do this patrol zone. One, two, and three let's go look for some mines boys that seems like very thankless work to me being on a mine sweeper you're like do i hope that we hit something or not <laughs> i don't know you know i guess they were pretty well protected and it's really the nets the kind of what were they like metal nets weren't they out there uh either on the front back or the sides or all four of the ship but you know that's the kind of work where you're like I'm not sure if we succeed you know I'm, I'm hoping for us to succeed or not all right that's Christmas Island we need to get some supply down here we also need to get some troops on here but I think we've got uh, something coming here uh, we do oh okay excellent we do have some cargo coming down here with some more ships here uh, these are support ships, just like the three we just set up. The Turkey, the AM, the Minesweeper, the Turkey, my favorite ship in the game. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting naming choice. I don't know. Let's call it the Turkey. Um, this will probably go on because we've just set up the exact say, same three kinds of ships here at Christmas, but we will be getting some supply in there. So that's good. Let's go out and around the bend. Uh, you see all of our task forces here that are generally, generally going back to the U.S. West Coast. Uh, these came out of Australia. Uh, they were, they're deadheading across the Pacific, uh, meaning they do not have any cargo right now. They're just going to L.A. and San Francisco to then load cargo and come back to Australia for the most part. Let's go down here to Pago Pago, which is showing us a red exclamation point, which means it's very low on supply. And we do have three units out here. We have a base force. We have the 7th Marine Defense Battalion, an artillery battalion. Um, and we have the Samoan Marine Battalion. Okay. Uh, we need some supply out here. Do I have anything coming this way? I, I sometimes, yeah, it looks like I've got something. Yeah, it's got a little bit of supply. The Iowan, this is out of Auckland. I oftentimes like to resupply these these islands out here from New Zealand, up straight up from Auckland. It's the safest way to go, right? Uh, and so to the extent we can, we'll, we'll go down and look at Auckland at some point here and try to get even more coming out of Auckland. We also have more or something coming up here to Savi, not Suva, Savi. Uh, this is the Georgian that is also coming out of Auckland uh, with some supply for these smaller islands. That'll be good to get them in here because we do have three units and we have a lot more on the way. Uh, and we're trying to build this airfield as fast as we can. It can go, well, hell, it could go all the way up to a level seven if we wanted to get crazy, I guess. Uh, but during the entire game, we'll be trying to build up this airfield and get uh, aircraft out here. Uh, at Pago Pago. It's kind of the furthest U.S. base uh, to the west in the South Pacific. Uh, and so we'll be trying to build that up, put some U.S. planes on there. Uh, what's happening at Sabi? Okay, we have this one Kiwi unit out here. It's a six. I mean, it's the Samoa Detachment Infantry Unit, a New Zealand unit. Uh, let's go back at Pago for one second. Okay, we'll get supply in there. We don't have any ships at port. Uh, all right, you know, it is what it is. We don't have anything really that close. We've got some ASW happening here all around the Samoan Islands. Uh, let's go over to Suva. We made it! We made it! For once, I finally made it. Um, really low on fuel here. Uh, we, you know, to the extent we have ships that come in here, we need the fuel. We got a decent amount of supply now, which is good because, uh, if you're not familiar with the game, Aircraft surprisingly run on supply. <laughs> you would doesn't seem 
maybe like that would make sense, but it, that's how this game works. Um, and there's actually good reasons for that, but we won't go into them. We have three Kiwi units out here, including a 44 and a 47. So the 34th uh, New Zealand Battalion, the 29th New Zealand Battalion, the 1st. Now we have a lot of U.S. forces that will end up at Suva, and we'll move the New Zealand forces over to Nadi, or at least that's Nadi. That, I don't know, it's funny when I said it. At least it made me laugh. Uh, okay, that's Nadi. What's our situation here? A lot of supply, not much fuel. Okay. That's probably not unusual. A lot of this will come out of Australia or New Zealand. This is a tanker bringing fuel, so we will very shortly have a lot of fuel at Suva, 